It's possible to make moderate sized breaks in snooker simply by using natural angles. And with a small amount of manipulation, these breaks will become huge. This is Break From Life. Welcome back, and if this is the first time you've watched one of our videos, then it's fantastic to have you here. Here's how natural angles work. On a shot like this one, you need to understand natural angles in order to get in position. Understanding a natural angle is just simply knowing where the white will go when you naturally run it through. So playing it with no spin whatsoever, you can get in position by just playing it at the right pace but if you don't understand where it's going to go, then you will not know which pace to play the shot at. So in a shot, for example, like this, your chances of getting a position are quite low. However, on half the shots you play, you can get in position just by using natural angles. For example, if we play at the correct pace to come down to about here somewhere, we'll have this red in the corner. And if we play a little bit harder, finishing around here, we'll have that red possible in the middle. Now this is probably too much angle to finish in that sort of area. So I'm going to play this off the top cushion and finish around here for both of these reds in the middle pocket over there. So all I'm going to do here is work out the correct pace to finish over here on those two reds into the middle pocket. So it's, it's the right angle. All I've got to do is get the pace right. So I'm going to play it at about that sort of pace. It's going to come off the top cushion nicely. I'm going to finish pretty good on this red here. And that's all just potting the ball and playing it at the correct pace. But what we can do that's even better, if we go back to the shot before the blue. So before we got on that blue where we played off the top cushion for the reds, let's say we have this shot on the red. So if we play the shot to finish here for the blue, that's going to give us a perfect angle to just drop on these reds here. We're just going to come all the way across here and finish about here for these two reds. And we can do this simply if we just get exactly right off this red and finish nicely on the blue. So that sh should be about there somewhere, that's perfect. So we've finished nicely on the blue, and now we don't have to do anything again to finish on one of those two reds, except get the pace right when we pot it. Because as long as we pot this, that's exactly where the white's going to go. So I'm going to play for the bottom one, so I'm just going to play it a little bit harder than I would play for the top one. And look at that. We've finished nicely on this red. We can even pop that one in the middle if we want to. And this all works great if you have the perfect angle. But if you don't quite have the perfect angle, you can manipulate it a little bit. You see, if we just naturally pop this black, we'll miss the cannon on the red and won't push it on to the middle pocket. However, if we put the white back in exactly the same position and play exactly the same shot with a tiny trace of left hand side, this will widen the angle and mean the white cans the bread right over the middle pocket. This is why it's crucial to know exactly where the cue ball will go on a natural shot so you can very slightly manipulate the cue ball with a bit of spin or even changing the power you're going to play it at. For example, if we put it back in exactly the same position again and I play it with a lot more pace, watch what happens to the white. It even goes the other side of the red, simply from having more power on an angled shot. And we explain all about this in snooker angled shots. Check it out, it's in the card right now, and also on our channel page, along with a load of other videos that will help you dominate at the game. And remember to make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. In the last year or so, my game started improving dramatically because I started making about 20% more or so from every single chance. And this is really how I did it. Basically, every shot I played when I had a chance like this, I'd first think, can I just play a natural shot with no spin at all and just play it like that? And I'd do that on every single shot. 
Once you understand this, then all you've got to do is practice linking natural angle shot to natural angle shot, linking every shot together by working out where you need to finish to play another simple shot to get you back into position and start the whole process over again. You'll be surprised at how quickly you learn how to do this and how much this improves your game because you're in the right positions all the time and you're practicing the right shots even in games. Now a lot of the time you may find out you run out of position or your opponent just simply doesn't leave you in a nice enough position. But I usually find that you once every single game you'll have an ch easy chance. You'll find this generally in amateur snooker. I made a video all about it, it's in the card right now. Simply taking advantage of these chances means you can win games where you really shouldn't and you had far fewer chances than your opponent. So if you want to harness the power of natural angles to help improve your scoring power, then do this. To start off with, find a red we can pot. So we're on this shot and we could possibly pot that one, but that one down there is definitely the simplest pot. Nextly, can we get in position off that? Well, yeah, we can get on the black. So we can get around about here somewhere we can finish. So we can do that. And doing that will mean we can play off the side cushion, for example, or play another shot, and we can easily land on a number of reds here. So ideally, we want to be here. So what we can do when we play this shot is just drop this red in and leave the white here. But doing that will probably mean we'll have to play it far too slowly and the white is likely to move a little bit on the cloth and we're just more likely to miss the red. So if we play it a little bit harder off the top cushion and finish here, we're more likely to get the shot right. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to play it a little bit harder. We're going to pick our sh point on the object ball. We're not going to change our mind about that or the pace we're playing the shot at. And we are just going to play the shot. It's going to come off the top cushion. And you see that? We're perfect on the black. There are times where you want to manipulate the spin of the cue ball. And this is the major time you want to do that. Where you have this angle on the black. And you just want to add a little amount of stun on the shot. To allow you to get onto the red up here like this. This is the main key to success, manipulating the angles in order to get in position. And on this, these next few shots, I'm going to be potting the black, and we're just going to say, if the white just gently hits the red, we're going to be nicely in position. So on this next shot, if I pot this black, I know that the white's going to come off the top cushion and hit the red, so long as I pot the black, because we've got exactly the right angle. So the angle's perfect, so what we're going to do is play the shot. Look at that, nicely in the centre of the red. So exactly where we thought we would go with it. And the key to being able to do this really well is to being able to play a shot like this where it's a completely different angle and we're not going to be, if we play this normally, we're going to come over here and we're not going to hit the red. So we've got to be able to play this, for example, with a tracer side. So we could pot it with a small amount of side. We're going to pot the black and that will change the angle it comes off the top cushion so we still hit the red. Or, on this shot, something's a little bit harder, just play a very slight stun shot and judge that nicely. And use that to help us hit the red. If you can do this, you'll be able to do things like clear the colours here with only playing simple pots at the correct pace. That's all you've got to do. And a small amount of manipulation, like I played this shot with a small amount of left hand side, which may make it a little bit difficult, but not a huge amount so. Or this brown where I stun it a little bit, which again makes it a little bit harder, but not massively so. And you'll find these tiny little manipulations in spin and pace allow you to get in positions that you wouldn't normally be able to do. Just by using natural angles like this, you can make a break of 30 fairly easily. You can probably even make breaks of up to 50, but you need to be able to manipulate the cue ball just a little bit to allow you to make breaks that will win you the game, and maybe even a 100 break. I show you how you can do this 
in our video, snooker positional play. And if you're struggling to line shots up, our video snooker angle shots will help you dramatically. And remember, don't just watch, play. And make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to visit our website. See you later.